You're watching Living in Vermont. This is what we woke up to this morning, the first snowfall of 2021. How wonderful. It's absolutely beautiful. Definitely a lot of snow. Everyone's snow blowing and shoveling their driveways, plowing. How exciting. Definitely makes for a very scenic view you know, with all the snow sticking to the trees and you know it's very uh, scenic. Right now we're on uh, French Hill Road French Hill in St. Albans, Vermont. cold out which is nice. It's actually fairly warm out. Yeah, it's close to 30. So it makes the snow really dense and sticky. Good for a uh, snowman. Sorry about the bumps. And Vermont roads for you. Nice view up here. So basically, what we're going to do is uh, drive through uh, the city and the town a little bit, kind of show you what everything looks like. It's all snowy like this. This is our first snowfall of the year. And I'm sure we'll have more. They're saying it's supposed to be a mild winter, so who knows how much snow we'll actually get. I've been enjoying the warmer temperatures, or above average temperatures. I don't really like it when it's below zero. I don't think anyone does. And if you do like it, well, you got something special going on with you. <laughs> Some people like to ski, <laughs> snowboard. Yeah. There you go. Of course, my unfavorite or least favorite part, I should say, is uh, the dirty snow that's alongside the road. I hate that. It's <laughs> it's the only part I don't like. But I like the snow. Well, not only that, but you got the salt. Road, you know, that salt brine that is mixed in there, and that's you know, that's the problem is it sticks to all the undercarriage of the vehicles, so it kind of you know holds in there in places that you can't get to. And uh, you know, this is why vehicles only last you know, eight, five to ten years, and they're rusted. You know, so <clears throat> unless of course you take care of it. There's ways of doing that. Right now we're kind of close to the uh, Northwest Medical Center hospital area. We all kind of facilities out here. There's the, and our great DMV that we have over here in St. Albans is wonderful. Yeah, it's very small. <clears throat> They're only open two days a week or three days a week. And they got corona testing right there in that little shed area. You got Hawk's Nest to the right. Look at the lights right there. That's where a lot of, was it elderly housing? That's that senior that housing. Yeah. So. And of course in Vermont you're going to see a ton of Subarus. Yeah, it's the vehicle of choice. You know, mail carriers, God bless them. 
Oakland County Rehab. And of course, we still have all of our uh, telephone poles above ground. For the most part, yeah. A lot of telephone poles. So we're coming up on uh, exit 19. We're coming up on exit 19, and uh, we're still in the St. Albans town, obviously. We do have two truck stops here, right off exit 19. They're not much of a truck stop compared to, mm. you know, going out west and south. But, you know, they do for this area. The other truck stops over there are beyond the lights on the left. Yep, that's Jolly's. And we have the um, St. Albans basically the rec center. Yeah, it's Collins Pearly, they call it. A lot of uh, sporting events take place there. You know, you got your soccer fields and, uh, you know, you got ice skating. Football. Football, yeah. You know, A little bit of everything over track. there. Track. You've got a nice walking place and trail for, for walking. city now. St. Albans City School, which we'll show you at some point. I don't believe it'll be today. Um, we're going to take a right here, right on uh, South Main Street. Route 7. Yeah, or aka Route 7. For most of you. So this is basically like the start eight, the starting of the main drag. For uh, St. Albans town slash city, and uh, so you got your Citizens Bank, another gas station, yeah, uh, Community College of Vermont. They're moving now. Yeah, some kids sticking their head out the window. <laughs> We're gonna have another video coming out next week with uh, St. Albans Town and St. Albans City. Yeah. Um, the different restaurants we have here. Um, why would we live in St. Albans? Versus other. You know, versus towns. other towns and stuff. Um, There's a uh, Bell's Free Academy. That's the high school. Yeah. It's a beautiful school. I, I like the architecture, but... <laughs> don't film the, our 8-pillar too much. Well, I'm trying not to, but... So, yeah, this is This the, is the U.S. Passport Agency. You can get your passport. A bunch of restaurants and retail shops. And mom and pop shops. A lot and, of really good local places here that we're going to do reviews on yeah. in another video. Taylor Park is beautiful, especially with the lights in the at night. They have it all lit up. Yeah. They've got a beautiful fountain, which in the winter time it's not working. Yeah, otherwise it would freeze up. But, yeah, you oh. got 84 Main up here. You got you know a bunch of Chinese places in St. Albans. Um, I like 84 Main. We haven't been there in a while. It's a mix of uh, Mexican food and uh, Caribbean. 
Jeff's Jamaican, being the seafood Jamaican we wanted to buy there was nice too. Yeah. Here's the new building that they built. The city, the city offices, the theater that hasn't been open for since March. Yeah. Ace Hardware. Fitness. Planet Fitness and some other shops. Shopping center. A little shopping center over here. Hard to see a lot of stuff with the snow kind of being in the way, but you know, we're doing the best we can. It's going to get you the good content. houses and while well, they're now apartment buildings but there's a lot of older architecture here well, there's some stuff definitely from the 1800s for sure the roads are just nasty right yeah now. the roads uh, I mean, it gets cold and then we have you know warm spells um, so we get a lot of potholes and ruts and cracks in the roads. St. Albans Diner and Maple City Diner across the street from each other. you got Duke's Fitness Center. And a really good creamy place in the summertime. O'Reilly. <clears throat> a lot of lights. Yeah, these are fairly new lights since they put in the Walmart back in 2015. They put these lights up to control the traffic a little better. Traffic flow. Um, updated a lot of the road area. So. I apologize for the bumps here. Yeah, she's just having a hard time. <laughs> well, it's not, it's not easy to control this camera with the bumps. We have a lot of milk trucks too that come through here full of milk and yeah, the they, they have ruts in the roads from them. Yeah. Quite a few dealerships as well used in new dealerships here. Um, yeah, your handies. Which I don't really care for. Dunkin' Donuts, Advanced Auto, Spokane Ford. Yeah, we got a dealership up the hill over there. There's Tracker Place, and McDonald's, and Burger King, Price Chopper. Look at this view. This is a. Uh, it's pretty cool. Our entrance area. Is how the snow just takes over everything really. So you get that once in a lifetime. Well, not really once in a lifetime. You know, you'll get it a couple times in winter maybe, but it's, it's got to be a special type of snow really stick like that. And we got our mall over here. We've got a Pizza Hut. Um, there's a good pizza place over there called Pie in the Sky. TJ Maxx. This guy from Texas doesn't know how to drive here. <laughs> no 
England Federal. And then we got Walmart. Pretty big Walmart, actually. Yeah, they got some land. I don't know if it's for sale, I'm assuming. They finally got some lots for sale. I tell ya, I definitely would open up a restaurant if I had the money. A prime location right here. You'd make bank being in this area. So this is still St. Albans Town. This end, the north end. We got a really, you know, decent place down here called Warner's, but every time you want to eat there, you might want to take out a personal loan. It's a little expensive. But yeah. they have really good shakes and fries. <laughs> we'll go up here and uh, the golf course is up Yeah, here. they've got a golf course and they've got, uh, this is a country club. Of course, no one's really uh, playing golf this time of year. If you were, you're crazy. Mm -hmm. Food axe. It's a really good greenhouse, a lot of plants. Yeah. Not right now, but you know, in the springtime, they usually do in the summer. Country Club. Yeah, they got it plowed out for us. Nice. Awesome. Turn around here. Good old U turn. That's how you do them in the winter. No, we have vehicles coming here. I'm thinking we should go to Walmart and uh, get a couple things. So. We have a lot of mountain views. We have a lake that we will put in another video. There's a few lakes around here that are absolutely oh, yeah. stunning. Um, our favorite is Lake Willoughby, and we like Crystal Lake as well. Yeah. But we live by Lake Champlain, which isn't the cleanest lake, but, I mean, it's it's pretty, you know, from a distance, <laughs> as long as you're not swimming in it. But you wouldn't want it this time of year anyway. That one in Newport, was that Memphis Magog or something? Like yeah, that? that one's pretty, too. That's a nice lake in the summertime. We have Lake... Um, then you get the one down near Rutland area. Yeah, there's well. lots of lakes and lots of ponds and lots of scenic. Yeah, so we're going to be going around and, uh, you know, let us know what town you want us to go to next and uh, we'll be happy to uh, take a video of it and, um, you know, kind of fill in. Yeah, and we'll also try restaurants and check out the shops in those towns that you guys would like to see. That way, um, you know, if you say you want to see Newport, for example, we would go and we would try out a couple places there, do reviews, do some videos, um, and send them out. And, um, you know, we'd, we'd love to know where in Vermont you would like to see, and we will go there and do a video for you. Um, so definitely leave us a comment and like, share, and subscribe. Happy New Year. And Happy New Year. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time.